The implementation of urban redevelopment projects in Detroit reveals the economic significance of urban renewal nationally because Detroit has made massive leaps in the right direction and rebounding from what took place only 13 years ago. In this short film, we will document the details of District Detroit plan in Detroit in order to shed light on how Detroit has been able to successfully redevelop this area of the city without leaving its current re residents behind. This little known history of urban planning is relevant today because this plan is an example of a successful way of removing blight but still not allowing for gentrification. The District Detroit plan really kicked off in late 2012, on December 4th, when Illich Holdings announced a massive new entertainment center in Detroit. The news release highlighted that the district was to be another substantial investment in the development of a new residential, retail, office, and entertainment district in downtown Detroit. On June 19, 2013, the Downtown Development Authority announced the location for the district. They announced that the plan would take place in the heart of Detroit and would be full of mixed-use developments, including theaters, professional sports venues, restaurants, bars, and other office and retail spaces. Prior to the announcement and groundbreaking of this plan, this area had lacked both development and investment over the past decade due to the economic downfall that took place in Detroit. And as you'll see in the rest of this video, some of these projects were the first developments that had taken place of their kind in over 10 years, with one being the largest office space and the other being the largest residential space. On July 24, 2013, Michigan Strategic Fund approved the Downtown Development Authority Fund. This fund would grant $650 million to go towards the District Detroit plan. On July 20, 2014, Chris Illich unveils renderings of the new district, officially releasing the name District Detroit, which includes the Wildcat Corner and refurbishing the neighborhood near the Lions and Tigers' respective stadiums. On December 10, 2014, Little Caesars announces that their headquarters will also be moving into the district. On June 15, 2017, they also announced that nearly 2,000 people had been hired at the Little Caesars Arena, with nearly 60% of them being Detroit residents. And on June 20, 2017, the Detroit City Council approved for the Pistons to move into the Little Caesars Arena with public funding to support the relocation. This will be the first time that the Tr Detroit Pistons had played in downtown Detroit after previously playing in Auburn Hills. The Mike Illich School of Business is another large development that came with District Detroit. The development was made possible by the generous $40 million donation from Mike and Marion Illich. The school, which opened on August 21, 2018, has brought over 4,200 students back into the heart of Detroit and has led to a graduate MBA enrollment increase of 66% and a total school enrollment increase of 33%.